Hello everybody, my name is Star Raptor, and thanks for stopping by my channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing for you guys a Hasbro Black Series 3 and 3 quarter inch Emperor's Royal Guard. This is exclusive to Walmart stores, so without further ado, let's take a closer look at the packaging. Alright, so let's take a closer look at the packaging for Emperor's Royal Guard. So as you can see here, he has a ton of accessories, more than most Black Series figures I've ever owned have. Um, Mainly they have uh, three weapons, which is pretty cool. They got this uh, kind of uh, blade type staff, then they got the usual electro staff, um, and a cool little hidden pistol, and then he's got an armor upgrade, um, because I think this Royal Guard has something to do with the Crimson Empire graphic novels. I have never read them. Um, I'm really not sure what they are about, what time period I'm guessing during the original trilogy. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty cool how they kind of included some legend things with these figures. So let's take a closer look. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the back. So it reads, the Emperor's Royal Guard were the personal bodyguards and assassins of Sheev Palpatine. Armed with four spikes and fully clad in their anonymous helmets and crimson, the Royal Guard were silent, imposing, and deadly. And what's funny and stands out the most with this description is it's always a bit jarring to see them using the first name of Sheev Palpatine which was made canon I think back in the Tarkin novel if I'm not mistaken. So it's always a little bit strange reading that name. I, I think I've kind of gotten more used to it now but uh, still always going to do something. And I did forget to show you guys the little portrait, the crimson helmet of the Royal Guard. So without further ado, let's break this bad boy open. Okay, so here he is out of the packaging, the Emperor Royal Guard in all of his glory. So let's take a closer look at him, shall we? So as you can tell, it's a combination of both plastics and some soft goods, as, as the Hasbro likes to call their um, cloth uh, type figures. So very nice cloak. I really like how, how flowing it is and you know with the dichotomy of the helmet the helmet looks really good in my opinion the sculpt on it but here's where things get a little crazy guys all right so as you can see you can actually remove his helmet and his cloak so i was actually really surprised i thought he would just have like a removable head or something for the other helmet but no it's actually an entire helmet that comes off and this is interesting because Obviously, we've never seen under the helmet of a royal guard. We've never even seen under the cloak what their what their armor may look like. I'm not sure if this is a character from Crimson Empire. Let me know in the comment section below if you know anything about it, by the way, because I, like I said, I know nothing. So let's just take a closer look. Um, so yeah, very uh, you know upstanding individual here. Uh, and, and and what I like about it is you got the little insignia of the empire. You know, and, and especially on that back part, that's pretty cool. And you see there, we got the we got the holster. And like Vader, you know, he does have that that cape that comes down from his waist, that half length cape. So that's pretty cool. Any characters with capes are always ultimately cooler. Um, so let's take a closer look at all the accessories that he comes with. Okay, so you can see here, these are the shoulder pads. I'm not sure if you put these on top of the cloak or underneath of it on his um, undergarments or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, there's that. As seen before, we have the little snub pistol. Uh, this looks similar what to uh, the scout troopers use on Endor. Next up, we have the Electro Staff, which they usually carry in Return of the Jedi. They had these anyway, so you know, I guess all the Royal Guards have these. I guess they, you know, emit some kind of electrical charge. Sort of like what the Emperor does with sand, so kind of cool. Okay, so also right here we have his, uh, I don't know what you call it, his staff, but it's literally two blades, so it's, it's kind of cool. Uh, kind of antiquated, but yet elegant at the same time. I'd love to see a Royal Guard use one of these. Maybe in one of the future movies we could see it. So, pretty awesome. And finally here we have the helmet, the Crimson Empire helmet, I'm pretty sure. I like how there is that insignia on the helmet. Uh, one thing I don't really like is how the visor is actually opened, unlike the actual traditional helmet. It's got the uh, black transparent steel uh, glass on it, so I'm not really sure if that's how it is in the comics, but 
Uh, regardless, it's a pretty cool looking design in general. So here we see the Royal Guard stripped of all of his armor. Um, you know, just using the blaster that is last resort because, you know, they're trained mostly as assassins with these melee weapons, it looks like. And here, I think this is the proper configuration for the Crimson Empire armor that came with this figure. I'm not sure if he doesn't wear the cloak at all. Um, but yeah, as you see, he's got that, that cool, very long blade. All right, and here we see the Royal Guard in his traditional pose and his traditional outfit from Return of the Jedi. You see he's got the Electro Staff. Um, he's ready to go, you know, he'll sacrifice everything he needs to to save his Emperor. Um, but I have overall thoughts of this figure here is I was actually really impressed. Um, I like the whole fact that he can actually uh, remove his cloak as well as his helmet and reveal that he actually has a face. Um, really cool whenever they kind of incorporate legend stuff into physical, tangible items, you know, that we might read in books and whatnot. Um, one negative, which is a real nitty gritty nitpick, is that in Lords of the Sith, I remember that these characters, these royal guards, they had uh, grenades, they had assault rifle type weapons, um, just a whole bunch of extra kind of combat uh, tactical supplies and gear. Um, I would have liked to see that, but then again, maybe this is not that version. Like I said, this seems like it's the Crimson Empire version, but yeah, I was actually really happy with this figure. Um, I can't wait to you know set it up. And that is gonna do it for my unboxing of the Emperor's Royal Guard. What did you guys think? Are you enjoying the Black Series line of figures? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, I have a bunch of other unboxing videos for Star Wars Black Series figures. And I also have a weekly Star Wars show where I basically talk about everything that connects to Star Wars that isn't directly the movies themselves. So comics, video games, uh, novels, you name it, I talk about it most likely. So that's going to do it for me. I'm Star Raptor. Thanks for watching and may the Force be with you. Always. So did you like the video then make sure you rate it a thumbs up and if you did that go over there hit that star right after head so you subscribe to my channel. Doing so will keep you up to speed on all of my latest content. Speaking of which you can see a couple of my recent uploads down below. I'm also on social media so what are you waiting for? Let's start nerding out.